Hey there, Scorpios, and welcome back for a awesome August end of the month love reading or general. Whatever comes out, it is what it is, but we're focusing on who is minding a Scorpio's business. So whatever's going on in your life is not their business because they don't know, but they are all up and through your business, honey. And we're about to find out who and why. It is a general, so only take the part that fits and disregard the rest. Also, if you're interested, check out my description for Outer Spirit and cop you some Scorpio's beautiful jewelry or any zodiac sign for that matter. I do have a 20% off discount code Brown Eyes 20 that you can use. And if you're interested, check out the description box below. So this is what you have, Scorpio. Now remember, it's a general, it's not gonna resonate for everybody. Cause usually if somebody else is back minding your business because they're on the outside and they're not in. And it also represents somebody here who is a secret crush on you, but they're not making it known, okay? But check it out. And I feel like somebody, somebody you may know or somebody you may not know. Because you got reaching out in the reverse. I feel like this is somebody here who has either been trying to reach out to you or they are afraid to let it, you know, talk to you. Because it could represent somebody here. But I feel like for some of you guys in the reverse, I feel like it could be somebody from your past. They're not reaching out or they're having a problem because you're not reaching out. <laughs> but check out the next card in the reverse as well. You have sadness and isolation. See, that's in the reverse. Somebody is uh, dealing with it. Could be a Virgo. Could be in a uh, uh, hermit mode. I feel like this is someone here who is not getting out of the sadness <laughs> energy. It's not funny. Okay, somebody is sad. Maybe it's because you're not reaching out. Or someone set it up like that. Because this third card is refusing to see. See? I feel like somebody is sad and they're not getting over it because they're not seeing things correctly. Because your card underneath the bottom is giving and receiving. So this tells a lot because it's in the upright as, as well as with this one. So it could have been a one-sided situation. Someone could be trying to blame you for them being alone and you not reaching out or... The bridge has been broken. The line between communication is no longer uh, touching. It's like the, the communication has been broken. You have walked away from somebody. And they're refusing to see that they are the problem. That's what I feel. All right? <laughs> Whoever this is is minding your business. Is refusing to see about giving and receiving here. See? Ace of Wands. The world, six of cups, in the reverse, they go the refuse and the sea again, two of swords, <laughs> knight of swords, but, they're, but their mind is constantly racing or they want to, somebody want to get down to the truth of this, but I feel like somebody is in their feelings, okay? Could be a Pisces. I feel like this represents somebody is an emotional having an emotional roller coaster ride because you got sadness and um, healing. Y'all, I went to get like I get my annual mammogram. Let me know who hates mammogram. <laughs> I feel so smushed. <laughs> you think I got smush your ta ta? <laughs> I hate those things. Man, do the men have to get them too? Man, ugh, I hate that. I hate that out of all of them. It's just a lot. <laughs> oh, Scorpio. Yeah, today has been a mammogram day, honey. And just, you can just imagine, old super girls were smushed in, all right? I told that woman, I said, I feel like I'm old dinner or something. I just feel like I've just been violated. <laughs> oh, but look, they go to Eight of Swords in the reverse. I feel like somebody's finna free themselves and they got words for you. They go the lovers in the reverse. See? The lovers is in the reverse. Then you have the three of cups. And you have the chariot in the reverse. See? This your person. <laughs> could be a Pisces. Could be a Cancer. Could be a Gemini, Libra. Aquarius. Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. So needless to say, I feel like what's going on is that someone, if 
let's say if this was a one-sided situation because you do have giving and receiving maybe they were given to another situation but what has happened is if you have walked away from this energy and if it was outside influences they don't even want them no more somebody somebody you trigger someone when you go quiet or when you ignore them because they're not used to that I feel like this is someone here who is refusing to see that they're the problem but I also feel like this person has a problem that you ignore them it triggers them once again see wait you put it like that that's how it is they behind you they're coming at you and you don't even see it for some of you guys you have freed yourself mentally from this person or it could be that this person is about to free themselves by clearing the air and giving you a piece of their mind. I feel like that's what's happening, Scorpio. <laughs> because they're not able they're not able to go date anybody else. They're not able to move away from this connection. Y'all gonna have to I feel like y'all gonna have to set the record straight with this person because they're the ones that's refusing to see. Because this is who's minding your business. It's all about them. They may have felt like they haven't done anything wrong because you got giving and receiving. It could also represent that this person's going to have to change something. Could have been how they were given to this connection, Scorpio. That's what I get. So let's clarify. I'm going to also do a the person that is in love with you. I'm going to do, I know it's leap, uh, Virgo season, but I don't get as many Virgo views. So I'm going to do the zodiac signs that I like. I like Aries. I'm going to do Aries. Let's see who else. I'm going to do Taurus. I'm going to do Aries and Taurus. I'm going to do as many as I'm, I'm led to, to do. But I, I like Aries because I got Aries in my mind. So you know we're going to do you, Scorpio, because this is what we're doing now. I'm going to try to make yours a little bit longer. But yeah, this is what it is. I feel like somebody is refusing to see that they are wrong. Either they're refusing to see that they are wrong or someone is refusing to see that, that they're the cause of the problem. Somebody don't like that you don't say nothing because see, they go to that moon again. See? So it, you, it's triggering to them. That's all I can hear is it's triggering them. Somebody, cause somebody may want to know you don't want me no more because you got the lovers, <laughs> lovers in the reverse of three of cups and the chariot. I feel like the times y'all used to share, they can't move on from it. See? You got the lovers in the reverse and the three of cups. This is, this is what got them. They're not able to succeed. They're not able to move forward because they're stuck on you. And I feel like somebody is tired of being sad and isolated. They're tired of crying in the dog, okay? <laughs> sad is in isolation reaching out. See, I'm telling you, somebody's going to reach out after they, after I feel like they have been trying to not do it. I feel like this is going to compel them too because somebody may want to know what you don't want me like that no more. Have you started over with somebody? Because you got the ace of wands. Someone could be feeling like you don't want them anymore. And I feel like this is what's bothering them is that you don't want this woman. Ooh, Scorpio. And that's just what I feel because we already know how Scorpio Cup hit. So this is the person that's minding your business. Somebody here who misses you. Look at that five of cups. All right, Spirit, who is minding Scorpio's business in the six of cups in the reverse? Let's start there. Six of Cups in the reverse. Who is minding Scorpio's business? Six of Cups in the reverse. Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces. Who is minding Scorpio's business? Six of Cups. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Mm. So this C. Seven of Swords. See, somebody was avoiding this. I feel like somebody is... I feel like with the Six of Cups in the reverse, there's somebody here who was stuck in the past. They're having closure issues. And you know if you do everything right, it's not going to... And sometimes you could be saying, you know what, I did everything right. I did everything I, I could have done to please this girl. I did everything to please this dude, but it still wasn't happy. It could have been that too, but I don't think that's the case because you do have giving and receiving. I feel like this is somebody here who cannot get over because they know what they did. 
somebody could have had something real, real with you with this Ten of Pentacles, but they were dodging. They were sneaking out. Now, either they were sneaking out with somebody else or this person just didn't want a relationship, all right? So let's see who is minding Scorpio's business with the Six of Cups. See? They snuck out with a third party. See? There it is. See? Unless they look at you like that. They could be thinking that maybe you have somebody else. But now with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, see? So this is, this, this is why somebody is minding your business, Scorpios, because they have to realize or they're realizing that they did you wrong and that they have messed around and lost something good, see? There you go, boo. This is how they see you. This is why they can't get over you because somebody knows that you have a lot of quality. You, you are a, a value here. You are of utmost importance. Whether they treated you like it or not, but somebody's realizing you ain't got to put up with that. So with the Six of Cups in reverse, somebody keeps on replaying this over and over and over again. They're having they're having closure issues because somebody know that they done messed up. See, that's, see didn't I say they're having closure issues? They go death in the reverse. Could be another Scorpio. You got Libra. Got a lot of Libra in here. But this person got a lot to say to you. I wonder, well, what, who is minding Scorpio's business in this aggressive Knight of Swords? Coming in here to get something off their chest. Proclaim what? What is it? Who's minding Scorpio's business in this Knight of Swords? What's going on with this Knight of Swords? <laughs> Funny. I feel like this person is secure as I don't know what. Look at them. Look at this, because they came out like that, and I'm going to let it come out like that. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, and look at that. The King of Swords in the reverse. They go to Four of Cups in the reverse, and there go Balance. See? This person is a mess. This is when that King of Swords in the reverse, and that Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, this is someone refusing to see that they're at fault. See? There it is, refusing to see. Somebody's refusing to see that they are the problem, even though they may have had a third party. Because you got the seven of swords. So somebody, it's like somebody wanted to be free to date other people or to do other things. That's what I feel with the three of swords. You got the three of swords and seven of swords. I just feel like somebody wasn't looking. And it just could represent somebody wasn't looking for a long-term relationship. So they were avoiding something serious with you. And it broke your heart because you wanted this. Now I feel like this person's in denial about it. I feel like this person, now it could also represent that maybe they're coming in to discuss this. To try to bring balance back. But this is somebody here who was going through it with this Knight of Swords and this uh, three Nine of Pentacles. This is somebody here who wanted to be single. They wanted their freedom. So in other words, this is somebody here who wanted their cake and eat it too. But I feel like y'all wasn't going for that because you know you deserve better than scraps. God dang, you got a whole grown woman appetite. What's wrong with them? So I feel like they're finding out the hard way. But I feel like this is still somebody here who is refusing to see that they're at fault. Somebody's finna pop up on you and get something off their chest. They want to talk to you. And I don't feel like this is a phone call. I feel like somebody wants to face to face time with you. All right? So what? who is minding Scorpio's business with the lovers in the reverse? Gemini. Who is minding Scorpio's business with this lover's energy? Like I said, they could have had another lover too. Ain't that something? Somebody could have wanted to remain single so that they could see. And they go to Ten of Swords. See? Ten of Swords in the upright, but the Ten of Cups in the reverse. See? Somebody probably was lying about stuff. See? And they go to Page of Swords in the reverse. And they go the world in the reverse. All these reverses. And they go the devil. See? So this person was displaying a lot of karmic, toxic behavior. 
But I'm getting narcissist energy too because how you refusing to see? Somebody probably thought that they was God's gift to the world. They probably thought that they had money with the King of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles, even though they're in the reverse. They, they success may have fooled them into believing that they were okay and that everything was good. But really, they got, they got, uh, they need to do some shadow work here. Could be a Capricorn, ain't that something? This person could have had other people, Scorpio. That's what I'm getting. They didn't want to offer you the 10 and 10 because both of them in the reverse. The Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups is in the reverse. But the lovers is in the reverse too. So this was a karmic, toxic relationship. So they're refusing to see that they were the karmic side. Two of Swords, what is this person? What is what are they? Uh, why, who is minding Scorpio's business in this Two of Swords? Now, like I say, this is them uh, in denial, refusing to see, or they got a problem because you ain't you paying them dust and you ain't ignoring them now because you're over it. What's up with this Two of Swords? What are they? Who is minding Scorpio's business in this Two of Swords? Got a lot of swords. You got the Page of Swords, the Ten of Swords, the Lovers, the Two of Swords, the Knight of Swords, the King of Swords, the Eight of Swords, the Three of Swords, the Seven of Swords, the World, Libra, and the Empress Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. Towards in the world, towards Virgo and Capricorn. The world, the four of cups in the reverse, the three of cups, the ten of cups in the reverse. Cancel Scorpio and Pisces with the chariots. And you got the ace of wands in the world. Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. So that's what's going on. You got balance too, I think. I see balance. You got the world twice. But this is in the reverse. So I feel like this is somebody here who is having closure issues. But at the same time, this is somebody here that has not changed. They need to change. It could have been a problem or somebody didn't want to change for you or for the relationship. So as a result, they lost you. And they're refusing to see that they're the reason why they lost you. All right, the two of swords. Who is minding Scorpio's business with this two of swords? How are you doing today, Scorpios? I hope this video finds you guys doing absolutely amazing and straighten your Scorpio stuff. I feel like what it is is you're ignoring this person, see? And it bothers them. Look, the high priestess, <laughs> the hermit car, man, can't nobody, you can't get blocked. Once you get blocked by Scorpio, you'll never be the same. Look at the four pentacles, see? That's what it is. And that go that three of cups. See, y'all say, uh, uh play, play date over. It just got real. It's what spirit is saying here. See, and y'all are blocking this person. You're heavily guarded because you don't trust them. Why would you trust them with a seven of swords, three of swords, ten of swords from a king of swords in the reverse? This is what they miss. And then it could also represent this person that want to offer you nothing. Just want to keep you like with friends with benefits. Because that's what I'm getting. If you got the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, this person wasn't looking for much. Especially with the Nine of Pentacles. But it's in the reverse. So it's almost like you're hiding behind this when you need to be doing some inner work. I feel like somebody needs to do some inner work. But I feel like somebody has, you trigger them when you don't talk to them. That's what I see. You trigger this person because you're ignoring them and they can't handle it because they're refusing to see that they're the problem. So what's up with this world? Who is minding Scorpio's business with the world? Because you're holding back. Some of y'all are adamant. This is, this is what's going to make this person come out and reach out to you because you got them blocked so many places. Look, they go to tower. There you go, Scorpios. I feel like this person's world has come down, all right? Somebody's world and came down because <laughs> they're suffering in silence. And then it could also be a shock. It could be a surprise to you that they reach out. But you got to reach out in the reverse. Somebody is planning something. See? Enlightenment. Mm -hmm. I don't know. They go to Cherry and they go to Queen of Cups. They want you back, Scorpio. You know they do. So what 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 um 
Who's mad in Scorpio's business with this world? Who is mad in Scorpio's business? Could be a Scorpio, could be a thick sign like Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, or a uh, Aquarius, Scorpio. Let's see? Four of Wands, completions, new opportunities, new beginnings. Coming down, look. Here they come. They gonna take a chance, god dang it. I feel like, teach me how to love, show me the way I surrender my heart, teach me how to love. I feel like somebody needs you to teach, I feel like you're teaching this person how to respect you, Scorpios, because you got teacher. Especially with the Empress here and the Emperor ain't. They're in the freaking King of Swords with the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. I feel like this is a learning moment for them. I feel like this person ain't never been taught right until they met you. That's what I feel. So if this person be honest with themselves, they know that, that you're something special to them, Scorpio. They're not going to find you. See? Like I say, you're teaching this person, Scorpio. See? See? And they go to Emperor in the reverse. See? Because for some of y'all, this person was a mess. See? See? Look at that giving and receiving. There it is. See? Because somebody was selfish. See? Knight of Wands. See? Six of Pentacles in reverse. Look, there it is. And there go the devil. See? <laughs> oh, snap. Yeah, you did. This is teaching your person, see, that, that, that you got a problem with how you give and receive. Obviously. Because you got giving and receiving. They were refusing to see this. And this could, they could do all their relationships like that. But I feel like you're the one that they're going to learn the lesson from. See, you got that devil. See? Oh, oh, upside down emperor. <laughs> so your upside down emperor is the one that's minding your business. So what's up with this eight of swords in the reverse? Who is minding Scorpio's business with this eight of swords in the reverse? Eight of Swords in the reverse. This person could be finally freeing themselves from their thoughts and from the attachments that they had that made them toxic. Because I see the King of Cups. King, excuse me, King of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Nine of Cups, Enlightenment. Enlightenment, and then the Page of Coins, and then the, the Chariot. So someone has to learn some lessons out of this uh, relationship. Somebody has to learn some lessons because I feel like somebody thought that they was all of that, Scorpio. That's what I'm getting. Somebody thought that they could do whatever they wanted to do without any, you know, any penalties or any, you know, without any judgment. This is what somebody did to themselves, but they did it to the relationship too. But they also did it to the wrong one, all right? Eight of Swords in the reverse. Who is minding Scorpio's business? Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. Who is minding Scorpio's business with this Eight of Swords in the reverse? See, there go the moon in the reverse. Insecurities, fears, all of that stuff is coming to the surface. See, nine of wands. See, somebody's realizing they are they're a whole look. They go karma. See, could be a Libra. I feel like this is their karma, those Scorpios. See, somebody's realizing that. I feel like because they, I feel like somebody's realizes what you put in is what you get out. And this is what it is. See? Seven of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. What you put in is what you get out. If they did mischief to you, then this happening to them with justice is what goes around, comes around. So the person's minding your business is the person that's receiving karma, Scorpios. Because they can't get over you. But they're in denial too. But, but the thing about a lot of a smug, um, 
rebellious, egotistical, prideful energy is that you're no match for karma, though. Because it's not prejudice, it's not bias, it's what they call it, blind justice here. It's like what you sow is what you get, point blank, period. If they didn't sow the right seeds and disconnection, what do they expect? And I feel like this is what's going to be shown to them, but this is what's happening. So who is minding Scorpio's business with the chariot in the reverse? Could be a cancer. Somebody's not able to move on, see? So if they are that cocky, why they can't go on with their life? They can't, though. I feel like somebody's lying to themselves with this page of swords in the reverse, see? They can't move on because they're not going to find nobody like you, and that's usually the karma. The thing that you take the most for granted, you're going to go out there and try to find a replacement, but you're not going to. You're going to find somebody just like you because you got the chariot in the reverse, and there go the Queen of Cups, and there go the lover. See? See there? So obviously they need you. You ain't. You don't need them. Because they can't move on. You already moved. Ooh. I was not expecting that. You know why? <laughs> God dang it. Because they in love. See? And there they go. See? So the person that's minding your business is the person that's in love because their magic or their manipulation no longer works, see? Or they're saying they're under your spell because they go to creator. They under your spell, Scorpio, see? And that's part of their karma, see? Or the manipulation is backfiring on them. Whatever they said for you, it caught them. That's why they minding your business because they missed that energy. They missed everything you gave them. And now they're not able to find it. Ooh. Or they're going to find exactly what they put out. A king of swords in the reverse. Nine of pentacles in the knight of wands. Um, knight of wands. What was the card? Knight of wands energy with the... Uh... Ooh, y'all blocking this person. It ain't funny, but it is. Got the seven of swords here. See? Okay, so that was in something else. King of swords. But ain't that something here? It's like... It's like love is so different than what I'm used to growing up. I mean, e even as a younger person here, you used to go through your, your stuff, but it wasn't this complicated now. It's like, it's like the men on one side and the women on the other. It's like made the best person win. You don't see the unions like, like you used to. It's like it's too competitive. It's like compet these relationships have become competitive. Only time you know you don't have a competitive relationship is when your person's out forward and out front with, with the reality or really trying to show efforts. When someone is constantly hiding something, then it's, it's, not, it's not a balance. It's an unequally yoked relationship. And I feel like this, this is because of your person. All right, who is minding Scorpio's business with the Three of Cups? Someone could be watching you to see, you know, what, do you still love me? Are you out there dancing with somebody else? Who you out there with? I know you ain't with me because somebody got questions for you, Scorpio. Somebody got something to say to you, god dang it. Why, who's minding Scorpio's business with the Three of Cups? Because you got the Ace of Wands. I feel like this person is very, very insecure. See? See? Look. The Queen of Wands. The Two of Cups. The Star. Somebody's afraid that you done went on and you done found happiness somewhere else. See? Because all that came out upright, I'm telling you. So in other words, somebody's afraid that somebody else is getting the attention that they used to get if they wouldn't have effed it up. But they're so full of themselves, they're refusing to see that they're the problem. So somebody may try to come to you and talk to you. Don't you back down, God dang it. You know what's right. You got the justice card here. Let them receive their karma. Their karma is to not get what they used to get. And to get all the games and all of the manipulation from somebody else is going to happen. But once again, if you wanted this person, they were treating you like an option. They're going to be treated like an option now, Scorpio, because for some of y'all, y'all got other opportunities coming in, and you're not going to look back. They're the ones that can't move on from, from you. That's why they're minding your business. Ace of Wands. Why is the Ace of Wands? Who is minding Scorpio's business with this Ace of Wands? <laughs> got the Two of Cups and the Lovers in here. You got the Lovers in the upright with the Queen of Cups. See, Ace of Wands. See, there it is. Ooh. 
that's them, see? Six of Cups, see? That's who minding your business. Them. Eight of Pentacles because they want you back, but they don't have the strength. They don't have the courage to face you because this is their karma. And it's going to be a while before the sun shines on them again, Scorpio. It could be a Leo, but yeah, that's who's minding your business. <laughs> Somebody here who know that they effed up and they know that somebody else probably getting all the things that they wish that they getting now, but they ain't getting nothing now. So they hiding in isolation and sadness and crying. <laughs> That's who minding your business. Come here, please like, share, and subscribe. <laughs>